Hey guys, Z here. Welcome to my tutorial on how to download, install, and use Skype. I'm going to take you from point A to point C. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and to the bottom left of the screen, click on this button right here, the Windows button. And go ahead and click on All Apps. Now if you don't have this version of Windows, what you're going to be searching for in this search bar right here is you're going to be searching for Get Skype. And go ahead and click on that right there when you see it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on Get Skype. And it's going to prompt me, it's going to ask me th in a green button right here, Download Skype. So I'm going to go ahead and click that button to download Skype. And you guys can go ahead and do that as well. So it's going to open up the Edge browser, obviously. And it's going to take you to the Skype download. So as you can see, it is now downloading Skype. Once it's finished, basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on you're going to click on a view downloads so as you can see right here these are the downloads and I have installed Skype already I think I installed it twice by mistake when I did try again but anyway go ahead and click on Skype setup.exe so you're going to double click on that and when it prompts you just click yes that's for the administrator privileges so you can just go ahead and click yes and you can minimize or even close uh, the browser you don't need it anymore so just get, so now we're, we're going to run through the skype setup so you're going to select the language and um, i'm going to choose english and you're going to uncheck make Bing my search engine and uncheck make MSN my homepage. You don't want them. You don't want them switching around your browser and adding certain engines and stuff like that. So go ahead and uncheck that unless you did want one uh, if you did want the Bing engine. Uh, anyway, you decide your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue and we're going to wait until this finishes installing Skype. So now once that's finished installing, it's going to ask you to sign in. So if you have a Microsoft email account, then you can automatically sign in using your Microsoft account and then your password. Now if you did have a Facebook account, then you can sign in with your Facebook credentials. Now if you have neither or you just wish to make a sole account for the sole purpose of Skype, then you're going to go ahead and click on create an account. I'm going to walk you through this. So now you're going to go ahead and type in the information. So you can use your phone number with your password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my phone number and my password and you guys can go ahead and do the same thing instead. Or if you did, uh, sorry, or if you did want to use your email instead, I was looking at the, at the, at this and I said instead, if you guys wanted to use your email instead of your phone number, then let's, we'll, we'll take that route. Because obviously this is pretty straightforward if you did type in your phone number and it would ask for a password. And I'm pretty certain that it would send you a notification to your phone and then you would sort of verify your account using your mobile phone. So I'm, let's go ahead and use email instead. But again, if you guys did want to use your phone, your actual phone number, then go ahead and use that. So I'm going to go ahead and use my email. Let's make this a little complicated. And you're going to go ahead and uncheck that. And we're going to get a new email address. So if you guys don't have a, um, a, an email address, we're going to go ahead and click and, and create one right now. So get a new email address. We're going to click on that. And it's going to ask for outlook.com. So let's type in. So basically what I did was I created... I just clicked on get a new email address and it added the at outlook.com. So it's going to create an, an, an email address with this outlook.com email. So I'm going to go ahead and create a email and I'll name it SilentWalker. And for the password, I am going to choose, well, I'm not going to tell you obviously, but let's choose a simple password. Now you're going to click next. So now it's going to ask you for your information, obviously. So go ahead and fill in your information, first name, last name. I'm going to do mine. And it should ask for a bunch of other details, which we're going to fill in. 
hopefully they've made this simple. Now, if you did get a little prompt that pops up, just click allow access to allow access to the networks. So you can put a check mark by both of them and you can allow access. Now we'll just let it load. So now it's going to ask us to set a profile picture. So if you uh, if you want to set a profile picture, it, it'll access your webcam. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it access my webcam. And I already know that my microphone is working. Um, my webcam is plugged in, but it's not reading it. But that's okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to click on continue. And then continue again. And you can always add the profile picture later, so it's not a big deal. If you guys did have a picture, you can, again, you can do that within the browse. You can click browse. Now, if you don't have a specific picture, I would just go into the picture section. And let's see what I have here. Nothing there. And I know these aren't my pictures, so I don't even want to use that. Uh, let's see. Let's plug in my, we'll plug in my webcam. Let's see if it works. Hopefully I won't need to install any software. So there we go, my webcam does work and I'm just gonna take a quick picture. And there we go, let's just use this picture for now. And, and then you're going to basically click start using Skype. As you can see, I have my Skype set up and Basically, this is the home screen. This is where all your contacts are going to be seen. And then you have the, uh, I guess the main screen right here. Now, if you guys did want to dial a phone number with this, you would need to use, uh, you would need to add Skype credit. So if you guys want to go ahead and either add Skype credit, then you, you would be able to call regular mobile phones, home phones, landlines, stuff like that. And to do that, I'm not going to get into it in this video. If you guys did want me to get into that and how to add Skype credit, I mean, the, the button is right here. But if you guys wanted it in depth uh, how to get Skype credit, then go ahead and leave a comment in, this, in the comment section below. And just give, give me a, a little request so that I can see it. And I, if I do have enough interest in that, I will definitely do an in-depth how, how to add Skype credit, etc. But I'm just basically doing an overview for now. So now if you guys did want to add a contact, you would simply click Contacts. Then you would click Add Contact, search the Skype directory. And if you do have the contact already with you, you do have your friend's name, you would simply type it in the search box right here, whatever his name is. Let's say if, even if it's David. And, and then basically a bunch of Davids will pop on and it'll actually tell you the location and whatever. So you just need their alias, you need their name, and you could basically just um, phone them. So that's pretty much um, the basics on Skype. Now, if you did want to change your profile picture, you just click on change profile picture. And again, you see my webcam pops up, but we're just going to keep that the way it is. Um, Now, if you did want to start a conversation once you added somebody, basically their name would pop up right here. You would have the recents, you have the contacts. You would basically double click on their name. And then this screen would pop up, right? Or you would just click on it even once. And then you would get, if you did want to call them, uh, you would click here. Now, obviously I don't have anybody added, so it won't let me message them besides for Skype, but it says that messaging is unavailable. If you guys did want to call somebody, same idea, you just click on, this is the number dial pad, and that's pretty much it. You type in the number, you type in the select your country region, the country or region that you're looking to call, 
if you're looking to call, let's say, Latvia, then it would automatically type in the plus 371 and then you would just type in the number. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything here. Let's go into options quickly. So here in the options, if you guys just saw, I basically went into tools and I clicked on options. Now, if you click on the general, you'll have a bunch of settings here that you that you do see. So if you did want to start Skype when I start when, when you start Windows or sign me into Skype uh, once when it starts automatically uh, here, you can change your profile picture, add contact details to your profile. If you did want to add contact details um, here, you can show your profile pictures if you, if you did want to do that. Here's where the audio settings are. So if you did want to set up your microphone, if your microphone wasn't set up, you would click this audio settings and you would basically click the microphone that you have on there. If it is plugged in, you need to make sure your, your microphone is plugged in. Here's where you mess with the sounds. If you did want to edit that, here's the video settings, uh, Skype, Wi-Fi. This is if you would want to use Skype on Wi-Fi. This is mainly for, I guess, they sort of made it uh, dual platform, I guess, for the mobile devices as well that use 3G or 4G. Um, you don't really need to worry about that. Uh, now they do have Skype Translator. Uh, privacy settings allow calls from anyone or you can limit to only people in the contact list. Uh, same thing with, with the video allow IMs. Sometimes you might get random IMs from uh, random people. Uh, history, you can keep the history if you want from your conversations, from your IMs, or you can just do no history, or you can, if you did have the history and you want to clear it, you just clear. You would just click on clear. Here's where you would block the contacts. If you did have anybody you didn't wish to speak mm -hmm. to anymore, you would block them, or you would basically, here's another way of of quickly blocking somebody you would right click on their name and just do block this person that's if you did wish to block them now notifications here's where you notifications you can uncheck if you are getting a lot of birthday alerts or certain things like that you didn't want that anymore here's where you would stop it here's where you would uncheck the boxes uh, and let's move on to the next one sounds we did already calls so call forwarding now, I don't know if you guys know about this, but Skype does offer a phone number. If you guys did wish to purchase a phone number, then you would do that. But again, I'm not going to get in, in depth with that just yet or in this video. If you guys did want me to do that, then just again, leave a comment in the section, the comment section below, and I will definitely get into that. So here's the video settings, which we just checked out. SMS, IM appearance. And let's check advance. So here is, you could pretty much leave all these settings the same. Everything else is pretty much set up. And you guys are now ready to use Skype. You guys now have an account. You guys now went through everything. You guys now know how to use Skype. Uh, it's pretty much pretty simple, pre uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So anyway, if you guys do have any more questions, feel free to contact me. You can even, con I'll try to leave my Skype on so you guys can contact me if you guys did want to. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. If you did find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I will catch you guys on the flip side.